Hi everyone, Jeanette here. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. I have another craft haul video to share with you today. And it's basically, again, um, items that I bought for the Christmas holiday season. And I'll be using it in cards, in holiday decor, but also my December daily album. So this is, I thought I'd show you, this is last year's album, which is not completed. And that's just kind of a tradition I have, I guess, that most of the album gets done up into about, you know, 22, 23 of December. And then it kind of just, I don't know, I just don't feel like doing it anymore. And then I pick it up again, like October, November, and I finish off the last few days, um, finish off some of the embellishments, and then, you know, put it on the shelf and um, start you know, thinking about the next one. So it's just something I do. I know some people are great and they complete it, you know, in December that year, but that's not me. So I thought I'd just share a few, like, ideas. Um, this is um, something I like to do, is to incorporate my paper crafting in my December daily album. So this is just an, an example of a page that I made. This is an um, image from Whimsy Stamps. Um, these are like dies from Whimsy. This is paper from Whimsy. So I like to create these personalized sort of things to go in my album. Here, this is something I created digitally. Um, here, for example, is another page that I created. And again, this is all Whimsy products. This is a digital stamp from Whimsy, digital paper snowflakes. So I love creating these scenes and things that go into the album because looking back into the albums, it's it's nice to see something that, that, that I created, that mom created for the albums. Um, sometimes I make these like four by six um, little inserts as well. They're like fillers. So I have photographs of the kids, photographs of what we're doing, journaling, and then things like this. Um, this one I made last year as well was really cute because it's interactive. So these little little guys spin in the card. You can see them on the other side. So that is sort of the idea behind of behind why I buy so much stuff because I know I'm going to be using it for many many purposes. And again, you can see this part of the album is it's just not it's not completed. I got up to the 22nd. That's Last year I got up to the 22nd. <laughs> All right, so I actually am sort of on a time crunch here because I'm having um, a kitchen renovation done and it's really hard to get some free time where there's no noise and the workers are gone for lunch, so I'm like really quickly trying to do this. So for my craft haul, this here is actually something that I just bought. I needed to replace my craft mat. Um, I had the one, I guess it's by Ranger. Anyways, it's sort of the tan or brown one. I saw that they had a white one. It's smaller, but it, it, it's 14 by 14, but I think it's just perfect, actually. I think I like this size. I love the fact that it's white, and it's by Tonic Studios. It's supposed to be easy clean. Now, I haven't tried it yet, and it has a non-slip non base surface, so it doesn't move. It's not going to move, shift around. You know when you're blending ink, it won't. it's not supposed to move. Non-stick, heat resistant, easy to clean. This is everything they're saying. Um, I love Tonic. I think they have amazing products, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this mat. I will let you know um, in a later video how I find it. The other sort of non-stamp related or non-stamp um, item is this paintbrush. This is a replacement paintbrush for one that I had that got a little bit too old. It is the Black Velvet in number two watercolor brush. It has like a nice sort of spring to it um, and a nice fine tip. So I really love watercoloring with this. And the rest of the things are stamps and dies. So Mama Elephant had a tremendous um, Christmas release. I guess it was a Christmas autumn release. So the first thing I purchased was the stamp and die set, the Little Reindeer Agenda. So you have all the dies, which I think for something where it's so small, I think it's it's worth investing in the dies. So these tiny little reindeers, they are adorable. And I think I just 
the possibilities are, are like limitless. I think I'm going to have so much fun with them. Like these guys, I think, are like the the back and front that you could do, sort of like the idea that I had in my December daily. I mean, they're just adorable. So I bought this set, and then they have like a matching Santa one. So again, I got the dies, and this is Little Santa Agenda. And again, so cute. You have like a little Santa in the sled that I'm sure you could sort of pair up with this sort of flying reindeer. Anyways, I think I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. And I think they'd be great on little gift tags. And super easy to color because they're so little. So those. Then they had, um, again, Mama Elephant had these puffy holiday greetings. Which I think are really unusual. And I think stamping them with some like nice bright holiday colors. Reds and greens. And for me, I love aqua at Christmas. I think these are going to look amazing. So I bought these. And I don't know if there was a die set with them. I didn't get it, but I think if you had to cut them out, I don't think it would be that that difficult. The last thing from Mama Elephant is this set, which is called A Berry Christmas. I thought it was so adorable when I saw it. I love this little cute little bear with the star. He's being held by his his papa. I guess this is his mama. I think this is really cute, um, perfect for holiday cards, and for sure I will be creating a sort of 6x8 um, scenic card in my December Daily Album with these guys because they're too cute. I just really love them. I got the dies as well. <clears throat> Pardon me, I think I'm losing my voice. Um, I bought from Avery L. the Winter Wonderland Wonders Stampin' Die Set. And again, it was just... the images are too cute. This little guy, I think, is going to look so adorable. You know, creating a little scene, like a starry background at night, and he's sort of looking up at a star. I think it's going to be so sweet. So, bought that. And then the last thing is this... I guess it's a collaboration between Simon Says Stamp and Avriel, and it's the Merry Mistletoe. So I think this is such a versatile stamp. It's like a filler stamp. It's a standalone stamp. It has great sentiments. So I just, it just fell into my cart. What can I say? Really cute. So that's it for me. Um, thanks so much for joining me. I'm sorry if I sounded a little rushed and I have a little bit of a like a froggy throat going on here, but I just wanted to share these with you because I know a lot of you have told me you like to see what I'm going to be using in my Christmas series because I have like um, every year a Christmas series, a video series where I share um, cards and journals and December daily inserts and all kinds of things to do with Christmas. So these are some of the items that I will be using. So thanks a lot, have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.